Welcome back to another video on Earths for Health. On today's video, we're going to be making aloe vera powder. We have this aloe vera leaf here that I've had for quite a while. Now it's still good. And what I'm going to be doing is just cutting it up and making aloe vera powder. This is a very beneficial plant. As you can see here, when you cut into a aloe vera, you can see the um, yellow liquid in it is called a latex. You can remove that. But as you cut it up in thin pieces here, uh, we want to cut that up and kind of lay it out to the side on parchment paper. All right. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of this aloe vera leaf plant. Now it has been grown for many, many centuries and used in many countries. Now it is naturally um, used for remedies and various ailments. The gel that's within these leaves um, can be applied directly on burns, sunburns, or other skin irritants uh, to provide a relief from itching and pain. So you may find that um, a lot of ingredients actually have this aloe vera leaf gel within it. Now I have all of my um, leaves here all cut up and what I'm going to be doing is just placing them here on the parchment paper. Uh, you want to lay them flat as possible. Um, you don't really have to spread them out but just make sure that they have enough room to lay um, on the parchment paper flat. And as you can see a little close up here and the gel and these leaves are just so beautiful to me plants are just very very beautiful and unique so you want to go ahead and put your oven on 200 or lower all right now i left these in about two to three hours and now they are very very hard um, and crunchy as you can see a close-up here and this is how you want them to be okay now let's talk a little more about the benefits as I mentioned before, it is widely used everywhere around the country. It also is used medicinally and it also is used in cosmetic um, products you may find as well. Now it does have an anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacteria healing properties when it comes to placing it on your wounds. As you can see here, I am now adding the dry aloe vera leaves into a coffee grinder. Now, if you have more um, leaves than I do, you can put them in a blender or a food processor. But I'm just using a coffee grinder because this actually makes a very small amount. Now you can see here that it is now pretty grounded up, um, not all the way, but now I can go ahead and add the remainder of the leaves to the coffee grinder and then we can get it as smooth as possible. Now there are other ways to make aloe vera powder. Some people will just use the liquid in the leaf and extract that and they will use it in a uh, to filter it through a cheesecloth and they will basically let that dry. 
Now here I have it now grounded down very fine and this is actually how I like it. Now you can do it again if it's not uh, fine enough. And so you're going to take a strainer and just swift it or shift it through the strainer here um, to get out some of the big particles that did not get grounded up. So you can see here I do have the powder and then you can see some of the particles are a little bigger. Um, it just depends on what you will use this for. Um, you may want it a little finer than that. And so I have the finishing product here. You can see that it is definitely a powder. Um, you can use this for many, many, many things. You can add it to smoothies. Um, you can add it to food for recipes that call for aloe vera um, and you can store it however you like I just choose to put it in this um, small glass container here that I have and I will cover that up and um, use it probably in my smoothies because it actually is a good um, thing for your digestive system it helps to clean you out very well and so that's what I'm going to be using it for Now as you can see that one big leaf made this much powder, nothing was wasted. <laughs> so I hope you guys try this at home and you know add it to any recipe that you like. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video thus far and that you also leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would like to see next. Thank you for watching.